welcome to the car guys and this week we're in a secret location for an ultra secret Alfisti collection. That's right, what we discovered when I was doing my car collection video was this really cool Alfa Romeo Fiat Heavy collection. So we're gonna play Guess the Alpha, folks. Well, actually, Damien's gonna play Guess the Alpha because I know what they are. And obviously, as a special treat, once we've gone through and revealed these special cars, we're gonna choose one of them here and take it out for a bit of a drive. So let's play Guess the Alpha. So here we are at the secret location in deep in the heart of Essex. Before we get started though, quick wristwatch check. Uh, this week I've got on my Tudor Black Bay 58. And I am wearing a Tudor Heritage Harrods. Ah, the classic Harrods. Classic Harrods. This collection is so secret and not even Alfa Romeo themselves know about it. We're just about to go into barn number one and see what delights await us. That's right, Car Guys fans. This is the Area 51 of Alfa Romeo. Shh, let's get inside. Wow. So here we are, look at this. So here we are, we're inside the secret hangar. We've got some alluring shapes underneath these covers. We've got no idea what they are. You know. I know. But I don't know. I pride myself that I know a little bit about Alfa Romeo, although I've never actually owned one, and that is a sin for which... The great god Clarkson is obviously going to berate you for that, because as he says, you're not a true petrol head until you've owned an Alfa Romeo. We're going to lift the skirts of the car covers. Damien's going to have a good look around. We're going to look under, I'm going to try and guess. You can play along at home as well. Try and guess what we've got under. We'll then reveal each car. And then we'll see if he gets it right. So let's play Guess the Alpha. Car number one. Let's see if Damien, how long it takes Damien to get this. There he is, he's ready and waiting. Okay, so let's go. Immediately I'm drawn to the shape. It's quite low. It's a little bit square so it sort of suggests quite a stylish one it's not super old but it's also not super new uh, the wheels look fantastic look at these split rims here almost like a sort of bronzy gray color there's your alpha badge which incidentally is a snake eating a baby if you want to have a look at that it's a saloon obviously so it's quite a big car quite low at the front a little bit of a slant I'm going to go for 164 and I'm hoping it's the 3 litre V6. So what do we think ladies and gentlemen? Do we think that he's got this one right? I'm fairly confident. Let's have a little reveal. Let's go. Hooray! Yep. You're right. It is indeed the 12 valve V6 version. It's in red. It's in red. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, the the car, guys. Crucial information. Crucial about information. Cars. Two tone, which makes it even better. Look at the crease that runs along the whole length of the car. That is epic. Look at it. So let's have a look. What's like? Yes, three litre V6. This is it. How did you do it at home, folks? 1990 164 Alfa Romeo. Check out the inside. Beautiful velour interior. Got an aftermarket Momo steering wheel on it, but I mean, look at it. Look at the slabbiness of the dash. Look at all the shapes. Classic Pininfarina design. It's just so sharp. It's just, this is one of the shapes that I absolutely love. If I was gonna get an Alpha, it's probably gonna be one of these or maybe a 166, I have to say. A proper Luxo barge. Okay, so here we have the next car for Damien to guess. This is a more of a modern Alpha. Damien's modern alpha knowledge is pretty shocking at best, but I think actually, I think he might be all right with this one because this is a properly, properly lovely thing. No? Oh, awkward. This is gonna be tricky. Right, so I have a sneak, I think this is an Alfa Romeo. What goes yes, that's right, folks, it's an Alfa Romeo. It's obviously more modern. These look like properly new 
wheels, probably some of the finest wheels ever to be fitted to an Alfa Romeo as well. It's obviously a coupe, it's got a, quite a low roof line as we can see here. Longish bonnet, low roof line and quite stubby at the back. So I'm going to go for some modern one, Brera, some, some form of Brera I reckon. What do you think guys, Brera or is it GTV? Mm, Brera, I'm going to go Brera. Okay, so we see how Damien did with his guess. Let's go. Yeah, it's a Brera. Look how stunning this car is. This is a limited edition S Pro Drive, as uh, indicated on the seats itself. It's got a sort of Anglo Italian partnership going on with this one. Pro Drive, obviously, those famous for uh, tweaking rally cars. Right now this, I think I probably do know because it's of quite a distinctive shape in the Alpha Saloon segment. It's a car that I've been looking for on eBay, classifieds, auto trader for quite a while. Just have a little sneaky look every now and again. But let's see if you can guess it. So you've got sort of quite a sloping front on it. It's a long shape overall and it's quite a smooth long back as well. So uh, what do you think? I think it's one of the real special gems that Alfa Romeo did. And if you can find a good condition, good color combo, good engine size, low mileage, one of these, you are frankly winning at life. I think this is a 166. Do you agree? Ready? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So it's a 2.5 V6, incredibly beautiful sloping body and a wooden steering wheel on this one. Hmm, not sure how I feel about the wooden steering wheel. So Damien guess he's correct again. Do you think he's actually gonna get all of these right? I'm a bit surprised. I think there might be some insider knowledge going on here. Okay, so here we have the next car undercover. Again, um, obviously an Alfa Romeo, but which one is it? Damien, have you got any ideas at all? Well, that's the trouble with Alfa Romeo, you see. They made a lot of saloons. They made a lot of very similar looking saloons and they numbered them all very similarly as well. So uh, if anything, it's a, it's a question of getting confused by the numbers rather than not noticing which car it is. But it is quite difficult to tell. I'm gonna go 159 just because it sounds a bit different. Yes, well it is a 159, but more than that, ladies and gentlemen, it's black with a tan interior. You cannot get more Italian than this. Mwah, bellissimo. Look at that color combination, just magnificent. I find it really difficult to choose between the 164, the 166 and the 159. I find it even harder to say, but I definitely find it harder to choose between them. I thought maybe the 166 would just be the clear hands down winner, but I have to say, this, the 159, is special. Okay, so we're gonna go back in time a little bit here. We've seen some modern ones, we've had a little poke around. This one is old school alpha. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking 70s, I'm thinking 80s. Definitely a, a more slabby shape, definitely something a bit vintage under here. Definitely. What do you think? I mean, I'm struggling. If I'm gonna be honest, when, I, when we first came in here, I actually thought it was a Marcos. A Marcos! Oh god, Jesus. But it's a little bit taller than that. Have a look at the back. I'm not as, I'm not very as good on the older stuff, I have, have to say. Have a look at the back. Square, squarish front. Oh, oh, it's got a wing on it. Slopey, bit of a wing. It's got a longish bonnet that bends down. It actually, to, what it reminds me of is I thought this was a Lancia Hyena. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, okay. The That's portions are about right and also the yeah. front slopes over. Squarish front on it. I'm going to show you a little bit of wheel. Oh. Bit of leg. Show you a bit of wheel to see if it, that helps. Shout out the screen, tell us what it is. No, you're all bloody wrong, it's not that at all. It's a Marcos! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go for Alpha Sud, Alpha Junior, Alpha Sud. Oh, oh we're getting close. Okay, so let's, let's pull the cover off mm -hmm. and we'll see, shall we? Ooh. 
What we have here is an Alpha Sud 1.7 flat four, so this is a boxer engine. A real proper special car. It's lightweight, it's really, really, really engaging to drive. 40,000 ish yeah. miles from new. But out of the group that we got here, I have zero desire to drive this car. Really? Sorry, that's just how it is. I think also because I didn't have one in my childhood like Clarkson did, I think if I'm going older, I'd go for one of these or maybe one of these. Okay, let's head over to barn two, where there is some even more lovely delights waiting for us. And let's see if Damien can hit his 100% streak. Definitely not. Definitely not. Here we go. This is barn two. Another solid door and behind it awaits Alfa Romeo and Fiat's loveliness. So we've got a little bit of a curveball in here. We've definitely got a Fiat in here somewhere. We won't talk about where it is, <laughs> but we're gonna go for it. So you're saying there's it's a bit more of a mix in here, a bit more of a hodgepodge of cars. Yeah. Still, yeah. still a lot of Alpha, but also some other sneaky brands. Some other, some very interesting things that I think will uh, get you fizzing in a, in a good way. Okay, let's do so it. Let's do the reveal. Wow. Check this out. Here we go, we're into barn number two. This time we're going to do slightly different. We're not going to start at the front, we're going to start at the back and work our way forward because I know the surprise is that are waiting. There's juicy tip bits of cars that Damien is gonna go absolutely mental over. So let's go to the back of the barn and we'll see if we can get him to guess the next car. This is the non-alpha bit, so we'll rattle through these quite quickly. Obviously, 309 GTI, about to be restored back to its former glory. If we walk a little bit, go that way, the, that way, that way. Oh yeah, back a bit, back a bit, true print. Oh yeah, it's a big cat. This is the proper engine, 4.2 litre V8 supercharged. This is a really, really, really rare car. This is a Renault 21 Turbo Quadra. So the run out models for the Renault 21 were four wheel drive for homologation purposes for rallying. There is only two of these in existence in the UK, right hand drive. This is one of them, very super rare car. We're back to the guessing game. We're on to our next Alfa Romeo. So I've given away the cards there. Let's see if Damien can guess what this one is. Okay, so this is a bit of a smaller one. Quite stubby at the back here. Long bonnets, quite stubby, quite short overall. And from the shape of it, I'm gonna go for GTV Spider. Especially, yeah, definitely a spider. Yeah, oh, and not only that, it's got blue top on it, blue with silver. The connoisseur's choice. And blue leather. Apart from it being the small engine version, silver, blue, yeah, that's a bit of me that is. Right, so this is a shape that I am not familiar with. So I'm not really gonna even bother trying because it seems modern and therefore I've got absolutely no idea. So, uh, you know, yeah, no idea, sorry. What is it? Can you guess? What do you think, guys? What do you think it is? Can you tell? Even, even if I do that, even if I do that, I can't tell what it is. No, I'm still none the wiser. Hang on. Ah, oh, it's a GT. Yeah, I don't like these. However, it is the 3.2 litre V6. So maybe it's scored a few more points there. So this car is not undercover because uh, there's really no point, is there? Just bloody look at it, will you? Please, for goodness sake. This is an Alfa Romeo 155. Started life as a normal two litre twin spark. Then someone decided to take the absolute best option they possibly could and turn it into a period BTCC racer homage. So I'm gonna point out a few things on here which some of our younger viewers won't have any resonance with, but actually guys of our age group will. This car has got the Tyqueeny sticker on the side of it, which makes it absolutely proper. It isn't running a roll cage, but it has got full sets of harnesses, two bucket seats, 
a steering wheel and a gear shift and an engine and that's all you bloody need. This car is amazing. It's road registered. It's essentially the best track car you could ever buy. And when exactly are we taking this out on the road? As soon as we bloody well can. Well, what have we got here? This is only a Jaguar XJS V12 Le Mans Special Edition, AKA the Tory Canyon. I mean, they are astounding. Not in any mechanical sense, not in any reliability sense, but just the sheer opulence and the sheer length. What's incredible about these cars for my generation, i.e. children of the 70s, is obviously the Saint. Simon Templer drove an XJS, a white one, and that's all we needed for this car to sit in our memory and to make us go all gooey at the knees whenever we see them. This one's in a sort of glorious metallic red, but it also has a mobile phone, an early mobile phone in there. And viewers of the channel who've seen my BMW 750 will know that I cannot get enough of the old phones. This is a proper, credible British bruiser. Just don't talk about the fuel bills, all right? Right, here we go, Damien. This is possibly, this is the car that I think is gonna get you the most excited. So are you ready for this challenge? Are you ready to guess what's under the cover? Yes. Okay, go. Right, so first of all, it's small. Uh, yeah, it's a tiny, tiny car. It does feel a little bit, oh, 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 I think it's a little bit targery, but, oh. I know what it is. I know what it is just from the shape of the front. Look, first of all, it's low, but look how pointy. Look, there you go. You see that? Look how pointy that is. Yeah, this is astounding. Have you guessed what it is yet at home? I think it's a pretty easy one, this one. This, my friends, is a Fiat X19. Ah, it is. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, look, look, look at it. Look at that. Oh, I've never seen one in dark metallic blue. I am literally in love with this car. We are talking winky visage. Look at this thing, look at this thing. One of the absolute classic shapes. Oh. Oh my, oh my God, look at the seats. Look at the seats. This, oh, oh, Jesus, this is so nice. This is so nice. So obviously, removable hard top, wind in the hair action, short shape, lovely wedgie 70 shape, Oh, it's so beautiful. And it's the Bertoni Special Edition. These cars were actually built in the Bertoni factory. And this is the Bertoni Special Edition, but I have never seen one in dark blue. I've never seen one with this crazy blankety blank family fortunes interior. Che bella. This is fabulous. This is the winner, this is the one. This is the one I'd like to take out, please. Please, please, can I take this one out, please? So as predicted by my good self, Damien is absolutely in love with his car. Look at him. So here we are, we finally got to the end of the quiz. I think you agree Damien did pretty well on his guessing game today. We finished on what was possibly the best car in the collection and I agree it's not an Alfa Romeo and it's not even a Fiat either, but it is the best car here. And as a little treat, we're gonna let Damien drive it. What do you think about that? Here's the keys to the X19. Here you go, mate. Thanks for watching this special episode on the secret Alfa Romeo find. We really hope you enjoyed it. Damien's had an amazing time trying to guess these things and we've laughed at him a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, ding the notification bell for when we have another episode uploaded. 
check out our Instagram account. And also check out The Car Guys website at www.thecarguys.tv where you can pick up lots of our official merchandise. And there'll be another Car Guys episode along next week.